Amid the escalating tensions in the region over China's air defense zone, the South Korean military on this Wednesday laid out plans to beef up air surveillance and fighter jet operation capabilities. Not only that, it has approved the nation's 6.5 million U.S. dollars aerial tanker project. Here's Arirang News Defense Ministry correspondent Han Daun. The South Korean Air Force will deploy homegrown, low-altitude surveillance radars for the first time from 2015. Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration announced Wednesday that it had sealed a deal with a group of the nation's top weapons makers, led by LIG Nex-1, and already began the process of mass production. The low-altitude radar can detect a target more than 100 kilometers away in air and provide necessary information to Korea's Master Control and Reporting Center. More than 31 million U.S. dollars were pumped into the radar project over five years. This marks the first time an aerial surveillance radar has been fully developed using homegrown technology. The Defense Acquisition Agency plans to replace all existing aerial surveillance radars on the Korean Peninsula with indigenous ones based on the success of this project. The Air Force will also purchase four units of aerial tankers from overseas in efforts to beef up the nation's air defenses. After holding a meeting presided over by Defense Minister Kim Guan Jin on Wednesday, the Defense Acquisition Agency announced it will launch bids from January 2014 and select the most suitable contender within one year through product evaluations. Defense Acquisition Agency spokesman Peg Yun Hyung says the aerial tankers, once deployed, will bolster combat capabilities by extending the operation times of fighter jets flying long distances, including to areas near Tokdo and Iodo, by more than one hour. It will also allow for the loading additional weaponry instead of fuel. Currently, Korea's most advanced fighter jet, the F-15K, can operate for 30 minutes over Tokdo and for 20 minutes over Yeodo. Up to $942 million have been set aside to procure the four aerial tankers that will be deployed from 2017 to 2019. Boeing and Airbus military have been handpicked as the two top contenders. Handan, Arirang News.